Marvel scenes that hit harder after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The scene in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 where Rocket Raccoon is drunk, Drax calls him vermin, and he loses it because he feels offended at the fact that he feels like a monster and Star-Lord tries to calm him down. This hits harder because in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, we see his backstory and we see how the High Evolutionary treats him. He calls him an abomination. And I love the parallel opening here in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 where Rocket comforts Star-Lord when he's drunk. Our best friends are there at our lowest. Another scene is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, the opening, where you see the strained relationship between Peter Quill and his grandfather as his mother is dying. His grandfather, while Peter is listening to music to comfort his pain, he says, take these fool things off. When you see the end, you see a really beautiful resolution between these two. Another scene is seeing Rocket Raccoon's back from Star-Lord's perspective. We literally get his backstory in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. It is disturbing. It is heartbreaking. He was tortured, even worse than Nebula. So to see this scene here in one, definitely hits harder. In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Rocket says, don't call me a raccoon. Well, in 3, he learns what he is and what a triumphant moment it is for him. And lastly, any scene that we see with Rocket Raccoon and the Guardians flying in space. In Guardians 3, he says, one day I'm gonna make great machines that can fly, and me and my friends are gonna go flying together into the forever and beautiful sky. Knowing that he's done just that is so wonderful.